Hello, friends. I'm Burning Dog Face, and as the title says, today is a very special day. Today is Friday, August the 21st, 2020, which means it has been exactly 10 years since Saturday, August 21st, 2010. The day I uploaded my first Let's Play video. So I thought, to mark this auspicious occasion, <laughs> that I would celebrate the fact that I have been a, a Let's Player for a decade by revisiting the very first game I ever LP'd, American McGee's Alice. But, uh, it has been 20 years since this game came out, so I thought I would spruce things up a bit. So I have installed uh, the American McGee's Alice HD 2020 mod by Omri Koresh. Which, uh, I wouldn't call it a full HD remaster, but it does make things a bit tidier for the modern era and lets you play in 1080p. Or, uh, well, a 1080 resolution, anyway. I think 1080p is restricted to YouTube. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. I do know that it adds a number of other features. Like, uh... Well, like the ability to jump to whatever level in the game you like. There is also an optional mod called Overkill by Aquatarkus, which adds new enemies and uh, new models to the game, but I have opted to disable it in order to keep things closer to the spirit of the original game. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I've added a lot of uh, 2D art to the game too, which is neat. I think the only way the cutscenes have been adjusted is to make them run properly in 1080. Wake up, Dormy! It's time for the tea party! I've got one! Why is a raven like a writing desk? Hey guys, Future BDF here to provide a little context for what we're about to see. Uh, when I was actually playing, things went more or less smoothly, just about the level of jank you'd expect for a 20-year-old game. But uh, when I went over the footage, I discovered in the videos that all of the in-engine conversation scenes were... well... 
you will see. So just to make it clear, I'm not ignoring the game totally screwing up, it just wasn't actually doing that when I was playing. <sighs> Sorry about this, Burning Dog fans. I forgot how intense that was. Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're very late indeed. You've gone quite mangy, Cat. But your grin's a comfort. And you've picked up a bit of an attitude. Still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. How is one to find her way? As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. Hmm. Ah, yes, right off the bat. The, uh... This is a feature I'm surprised I've never seen any other platformer use. When you look down at the ground, you see these shoes, and if you jump while the shoes are on... Oh, well, I can't really do it right there, but, uh... Let me see, there we go. So I believe these right here. Alice will jump to... Well, more or less exactly where those uh, feet were. Momentum is always a problem. Our land is destroyed. Our spirit crush. Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? Slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house. When the path is problematical, consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. The first time around, I called this video America uh, Let's Play American McGee's Alice, uh, number one, Through the Mirror Darkly. Stir up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta-essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. I've already noticed some interesting... I don't know that you call them flaws or not. Uh, with the, uh, the makeover. In that, for starters, uh, the big ball on his back was... You could see swirling gas inside of it, not just the solid white. Those are just as gross as ever. In fact, you know what, uh... Here's what this conversation looked like, uh, originally. I actually went ahead and filmed that segment before I, uh, checked any of the footage. So it turns out it happened in the unmodified version, too, in case any of you were wondering. I guess we can take a look. Stir up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta-essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. 
I knew the subtitle boxes are supposed to be fancier. Hmm. Knock on wood that I, uh, get it to work again without the mods. I did find a way to make the original game just run in uh, 1080p, but, uh, this Your would be life is funner. necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. That fucking door, man. Everyone seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? The truth would reduce you to a blubbering baby. Are you the savior Rabbit has been telling us about all this time? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person. And just now, I wish to get very small. About this big. Calls for serious twisting. You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how... I'd go sideways, Miss Elf. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress adores hold such secrets, but it will take more than a wish to get inside. Doors have locks. Locks need keys which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. A lot and if of not, no. there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. A lot of these lines of dialogue were just burned into my brain. Oh. How very Doom esque. Ran a mushroom shop. Like, well, these the conversations with these guys in particular. I don't think I will ever forget the line: "Slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house." I don't remember how long it takes to reappear. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. I'm pretty sure the cat was not partially transparent in the original. So again, you know, design choices. What do you have to say? Rabbit told us a champion would come. Are you that champion? Perhaps. Can you get me inside the Fortress of Doors? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare. Since the upheaval, we've all become gutless halfwits. I can barely risk crossing the road. But make your way to the mines, the deepest pit. There's one wiser and braver than myself who might help. He still lives free. I'm pretty sure you spend more of the game trying to get small enough to go through the door back there than you do actually going through the adventure once you get through the door. Well, maybe it's about half and half. Hard to say. Has been a while. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. I was looking at the right angle. Yeah, I don't need to press forward or anything. You just move right to that spot by pressing space. And that's really useful. I'm really surprised. I've never seen anything like that in any other 3D platformers. Oh, yes. The joy of frequent loading screens in a... Oh. That was weird. The whole screen went gray for a second there. I don't know if that'll be on the video or not. Yes, that's right. 
I checked the very end of that video segment to see if the gray screen showed up during a loading screen. But I didn't notice the conversation problem yet. Moving along. Okay, it's all good. Uh, the gray screen didn't even show up on the video, so uh, I just look crazy. Which is, admittedly, fairly appropriate for uh, this game. Hanging ropes are as good as step ladders to those who know how to use them. I really like the robot legs up there, by the way. Just want to say that. I'd also like to say that basically everything Alice and the cat say is uh, giving me enormous waves of nostalgia. I was so goddamn glad when they, uh... When they brought back the original voice actors for Alice Madness Returns. What I wanted to happen. You're mine. I always liked that pun. There we go. Huh. That seems particularly bullshit, but okay. I have gone so far uh, since I did these videos. Like, I was looking at the playlist, and I remembered that, uh, in the early days of, you know, my YouTube career, uh, there was a hard limit on video size. They could only, they had to be le uh, 15 minutes exactly or less. I don't remember how to climb up. No, oh, stop burning me. in here. Uh, climb up, enter. That's really, really rememberable, sure. Of course, why didn't I try enter? <laughs> Although, you know, props for actually giving you less swing when you're higher up on the vine. I remember that. Meta Essence. Technically, Meta Essence is only the blue one, which fuels your weapons other than the knife. And, uh, red was called Sanity, because since none of this is real, it's not health. But, uh, if you lose all your sanity, then Alice goes completely bonkers without any hope of ever going sane again, so you get game over. Why do you pursue me to this deserted place? To benefit from your wisdom. Even blurred vision is valued by the blind. If I were clever, would I cower in this slag heap? I'm not wise, girl. I just grown old. I wish to get very small. No bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh, yes. I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering, and I smoke too much, you see. Hmm. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor. Yeah, I was starting to say, uh, videos had to be less than 15 minutes long. Although I didn't know that at first. I, I, was, I looked at an old guide that said they had to be less than 10 minutes long. And, uh... So the first, I don't know, half of the, uh... Uh, Let's Play Alice series, all the videos are less than 10 minutes. I didn't use jump cuts until 2013. Oh, like the beep transitions. I didn't use, uh, transitions of any kind until I hit, what was it, Batman Arkham Origins when I did the, the 60s swirling logo. Before that, it was just hard crash cuts without any, uh, buffer transitions. If I remember correctly, you can summon the cat at any time you want in this one. 
Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. Most of the time he doesn't actually have any good advice. <laughs> but it is nice to see him. Oh, uh, also videos back then couldn't... The file itself had to be less than two gigabytes. That was a thing. You know, scripted sequences go, this isn't bad for 2000. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> like, uh, oh, well, shit. And that was just a psych out. I knifed his head off from a distance. Ah, a weapon. 52 pickup is a staple of juvenile humor, but when the deck slices and dices, it's no laughing matter. Blam! Particularly rough, my ass. Oh! I don't know there was one of those there. I mean, you know, I don't remember most of this. I don't remember this get the key part at all, but, uh. Oh, I like that transition in the corner now. They used to just instantly swap places, I think. Or maybe just go to the left and then back out. As opposed to this nice rotate animation. Oh, uh... The mod pack also comes with... Let me see if I can do this. Yeah. A mod called Reshade by Crowsire. Where you can really mess with the graphical settings, if you so desire. But, uh... I really didn't want to tinker with any of that to, uh, you know, avoid breaking the game and keep it closer to, again, the spirit of the original. Now he's just showing off. He could have just walked through the portal. Oh, shit. Yeah, diamonds are assholes because they actually have a ranged attack. Ah, god damn it. Oh, we're back here. I didn't realize this is the same room. No! I can't die during the video. Thank you. Fuck. By the way, I really like the way... Yeah, I remember that. The way that the cursor turns into a lock-on reticle when you're, uh... Nice! When you're targeting someone with the cards. What am I doing? There are no, like, hidden collectibles in this game. I don't think Grand Theft Auto 3 would even come out. Thinking of, you know, games of that era with uh, a shitload of collectibles hidden in them. You have the key. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. 
I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? meaningful things to say, but it's like, you know... What have I done since then? I don't know that I have a, uh... You know, for example, a, uh, a favorite game I've Let's Played, since I've enjoyed most of them. There's a school. Inside the fortress, where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items, exactly? Items. Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Hmm. Speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guards. No, just hang on. Ah, damn it. We've been seen. What are you doing, man? You need to get your weapon checked. Eventually, you must break through such walls. But for now, jump! I can't switch weapons until the knife comes back. Interesting. I rather wish I'd remembered that. Ooh, pure blue. I couldn't even remember if there was an item like that. Well, there's the timer. Ow! So, uh... I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to do another video, since I like doing two videos in a day. And we'll continue this trip down memory lane. I'm not really planning to turn this into a series, but I just thought it would be fun to say this again after all these years. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play American McGee's Alice. Again. <laughs> Later.